Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on Cost OS using Big Bird Cost OS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, a home assistant. Uh, we'll, we'll be installing the Docker container version. Um, the supervisor version needs to be directly installed with the Home Assistant OS. Uh, there's two different versions. There's one with the supervisor and there's one without the supervisor. And that's what the Docker version is. Um, uh, 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 this can control your whole entire home by connecting devices together at, and making it to where you can control the devices and entities. Um, so it's really po powerful and I use it for 900 plus devices and two home assistants. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And this is a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps nowadays. And uh, I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to go over it in this video as well. You will need a uh, Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to my Cost OS and get this App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then more apps over here. And then I'm going to. Uh, paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS, and then I'm going to say add. Now we have 155 apps, so we can refresh the page, go back into the app store, go to the categories over here, go to Big Bear Cost OS, and now you see all the Cost OS apps that are available from Big Bear Cost OS. So we got the app store set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Home Assistant right here. I'm going to go into it, go, go to Docker and Pose. So the name of the Cost OS app is Big Bear Home Assistant. The ser services are set down here. So uh, the uh, service underneath the services is called App. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Home Assistant. The image is coming off of GitHub because this URL. And then uh, Home Assistant, Home Assistant for the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. Um, restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes down here. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which has gotten from the name up here. And then a config. This is on the host side. And then this is on the container side, a config. Do not change the container side. And then... ETC local time and ETC local time and read only. So the, the, the left side is on the host. The right side is on the container. Run a, D, a DB, uh, DBUS. And then this is on the, um, the host side. And then this is on the container side. And then read only. The network mode is host. And then that means that it's using the host networking. Um, so Casa OS specific information to explain the uh, the volumes, and then Casa OS specific information to explain the uh, the app on the App Store, the architectures that the Docker uh, image supports, the one up here, and then the main right here is set to the app's service name up here. So the the description, the tagline, the developer of the actually uh, the Docker image, and then the author of the Docker Impose, the icon being used in the App Store, thumbnail, the title, and then the category so people can find Big Bear Cost OS apps in the App Store, and then port map, 8123. So this is on the, the, the host, so this maps the port to the 
the one on the host that uh, and, and you you don't see a port map right here because it's using the host networking so 81 uh, 23 is already set so that's a little bit about the docker compose so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club uh, uh, uh you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and i very much appreciate it so uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. Now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to Search right here and type Home in. And then now you're going to pick the one that says Big Bear Cos OS right here in the categories. So I'm going to go into it. I'm going to install and then now this, what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. Um, so it's about almost done. You, you can continue in background right here and wait for it to do it in uh, on the UI right here. So now it's done and it's up and running. So now I'm going to go over the files. So in Cos OS, you can go to the Files app, and then you go to App Data, and then Big Bear Home Assistant right here, and then Config, and then now you can see all the config files, the config.yaml. Um, you can go out of here, and then you can uh, go back to App Data. You, you can go up here to each one of the directories in this, and you can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go up here to the top right and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete. And these options are over here too. Um, you, you can go into here and you can actually do it too. So that's a little bit about the files in Cos OS. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go up to uh, these uh, vertical dots right here. And then you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. And then you can go back to the edit button and you can put testing in there, press save, then close that out. And it says home assistant is okay. It reloaded the container. Um, you can go back into the tips and you can see it did save. You can go into settings and you can cha change some of the settings. And uh, you can also go up here to terminal logs and go in the container. You can also see the logs this is great for debugging. You can exit this. You can export uh, the Docker Compose right here. You can exit out of here. And then you can check for updates for the current tag it's on, uninstall, restart, and fire off and on. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS, and I'm going to show you that it works with going to the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can go up to the vertical dots and open it from here. And now it says create my smart home. You can go into it. And then type a name in. And then a password. So now once you've typed your name, username, and password, you can say create account. And then now you can say next. You can put a country in. And then next. And then you can see uh, the analytics. You can t turn these on or off. The basic analytics, usage, statistical data, and di diagnostics. I'm going to say next. Now it found some uh, compatible devices in my home. So I'm going to say finish. Um, so now you see an overview of your devices and you can uh, change this dashboard. Y you can edit it. Um, you can see energy, map, a log book, and then a history, uh, of the media. And you can have a to-do list. Um, you can go to developer tools. And then the settings. And then notifications. Um, you can go into your uh, settings too by clicking the admin down here or whatever username you picked. And then the change password. Um, so that's a little bit about the UI in Home Assistant. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Home Assistant running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS, the third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out on the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.